Hello, investors, and welcome back to Just Randy Stocks. I've got a good one for you, so stay tuned throughout this whole video. I think you're going to want to watch it from beginning to end. Gemini Therapeutics Incorporated had a 31% drop, so we're going to be talking about ticker symbol GMTX. I believe this was an overreaction to the news, just like that same news that I told you about for cryptocurrency, where it was reiterated in China. You know, totally different news, but created a buying opportunity, and we noticed that those crypto stocks started to recover. So if you listen to my video about buying crypto, that it was a huge opportunity, I know you made some money. This is going to be another money maker for you, but tomorrow we're going to need to watch the charts, so make sure you watch the charts carefully for an entry position because I believe this is going to start climbing back up. Maybe not aggressively, maybe not very quick, but during this video we're going to talk about that. We're going to take a look at the charts. So if you look at this technical chart that I put together, you can see here on the RSI or our relative strength index that this dipped down below the 30 range and put it into buy territory. So you see during earnings, the E here is for earnings, that there was a, a trending up of this chart and then obviously there's a sell off leading up to earnings. Uh, the, the same thing happened here was you know there was some increase and the candlesticks are going up and then you've seen a sell-off leading up to earnings so we have the sell-off period here it's also as a result of the news that came out about the clinical two trials and i'll talk a little bit about this but i just want you to see that this is the the buy signal down here now this is a trending indicator but you can see when these lines cross and they haven't crossed yet that's why i want to say in the uh stochastic slow indicator that they haven't crossed yet but this is also indicators down here of when you should buy and then when you should sell when those lines cross so you can see here we've got an indicator down here uh, and obviously it dropped 31 percent so i'm not surprised to see that indicator uh, so our next earnings is august 12th and why is that important because that's going to play into the options play that you want to look at so you obviously don't want to do something for july i think that's too soon but just wanted to put that out there. The next earnings uh, for this company is supposed to be in uh, August. This company did come to market by the way of SPAC. So initially most SPACs are $10 when they come to market. And you'll see that this one is in the high $6 range right under $7. And Foresight Capital uh, was the one that brought them to market. So without further ado, I want to listen to the uh, CEO with you. I want to share this video with you. It's only about 60 seconds long. I know it says 36 minutes, but we're not going to listen to that much of it. Uh, tell us about Gemini Therapeutics and what you guys do in your own words. Yeah, we are a, uh, as you said, we're a biotech company. Uh, we are what's called a clinical stage company. So we are uh, in the process of putting drugs into clinical trials uh, you know, with the aspiration to get them approved and available for use uh, by the common public. And we are concentrating on what's called precision medicine. And the way we've started doing that is working in a population of people who have a disease called AMD, age-related macular degeneration. Uh, it's the largest single cause of blindness in the U.S. and, and in the Western world. And you know, what's really very interesting that the company, you know, has taken the opportunity to move forward and build a drug against is that about 40% of people, um, of the 16 or so million people in the U.S. with AMD have a very specific mutation uh, in your immune system. And what we're trying to do is give something back therapeutically that would compensate for a loss of function that these patients have. So... Uh, it's, I think it's amazingly cool, and it's part of what attracted me to Gemini is that we're taking such a huge public health topic and issue and trying to bring the right medicine to the right person, you know, rather than sort of thinking about aspirin for the masses, which has its place and is very important. But um, <laughs> we think that this is just, you know, a, a great way to, to try to bring a better medicine to people, to be honest, Jess. That's amazing. That's true. All right, so that's the extent of the overview. And you can see, I mean, we're talking about eyesight. We're talking about, let's just go ahead and take a look at the pipeline. So here in the pipeline, there's the ocular disease platform. And you can see both of these are in clinical 
phase here. It's went past the research phase, preclinical and clinical. And if you scroll down, there's just more. So precision medicine pipeline, there's more here. And this is all age related, muscular degeneration. This is all related to the eyes and then more even down here. And you can see these haven't made it to clinical, but we've got some progress here also. So there's multiple items in the pipeline and the analysts are a fan. So you can see from this table here, we have three strong buys, one buy. We've got this 1.2 right there. I mean, it couldn't get any closer to the strong buy recommendation range. We've got a current price of $6.69. I believe that's going to be closer to $7 when it opens tomorrow. We've got a low price of $20. Went to market at $10 and then an average of $22. So I wanted to make sure you had access to the full report. So just a reminder at biofarmcatalyst.com, you can get the full report by typing in the ticker symbol. And right here in this area that I've highlighted on the screen, feel free to pause this and read this, but I'm not going to read to you because I know that you can all read. But amongst these events, 12 patients had adverse reactions and had to be monitored. And if you scroll down here to the very bottom, it goes to the Business Wire news report and everything in here looks very positive to me with this minor, I would say this minor reaction that I believe was overall expected. So feel free to take a look at this news article also and tell me what your thoughts are. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you was I wanted to show you which options I would look at if you didn't want to buy regular stock on this. So you click your trading options button and because of that catalyst and, and this traditionally has went up leading up to now, of course, I wouldn't wait about a week before earnings. I would make sure I was already rid of this. And, you know, as soon as you've got profits, just be conservative and take it. But I would go with an in the money options play. So just to verify, what I want to look for here is I want to look for volume and open interest. I don't want to see any zeros. I want to see some high implied volatility. And then I want to look at my, my ask, the mark price, the bid, the previous close and the high price and the low price. So the low price is going to give me a gauge as to what I want to make sure I put as a target for a point of this dipping because obviously if this closed at almost $5, which is would be a $500 to buy this, I would much rather get two of them or three potentially almost uh, with this low $2 play. So what I want to do is I want to click on this because I found one that I want. I want to continue. And then obviously in here, I want to put, you know, two shares or, or one, whatever the case is. And then if it dips to the $2 range, which was a low yesterday, then I want that to, I want to go ahead and review this order. It's going to be good until it executes because I definitely want it or good till you cancel or just monitor the market tomorrow morning and, and see what happens with this. Then you can, you know, go ahead and place that. And if I had the funds in the account, which I will tomorrow, you can see here, I've only got $13 in the account, but I'm going to sell something that I believe is trending down tomorrow. And I'm going to be purchasing this because I expect, uh, you know, at least a 15% run in the next couple of days, if not sooner. So uh, those are my thoughts. And then I just wanted to Give you a quick reminder, if you haven't or you didn't know that I have a Twitter page, Just Randy Stock, same name, make sure you join there. I'll answer any of your questions if you don't want to leave a comment below. So last thing I wanted to do is I wanted to give you a preview of what I'm doing for the next video. So here it is on my screen, D-Nut, uh, IPO listing July 1st, 2021. That's right, Krispy Kreme Donuts, public offering, supposed to launch around $21, $24. I don't know. This is this is potentially a meme stock play. Uh, do you like it at this price? We'll be talking about that during the next video. And leave me a comment below on anything you want to see covered in the future. And make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.